Arizona State. Uh, you were there. You played a number of different positions, but ended up at linebacker. Yes, absolutely. Played both offense and defense side ball. And you're wearing a Rose Bowl ring. You were on the teams that went to back-to-back -back Rose Bowls. Yeah, I know, right? I, I tell people all the time the worst bowl game I ever played in was the Rose Bowl. And obviously now finding out how lucky and blessed we actually were to do Why that. would you say it was the worst? Well, because we didn't play in anything less than that. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, right. oh the, min it? the minimum bowl game. Okay. Yeah. You were in the, uh, the Orange Bowl game that ended up have USC ended up winning the national championship. Yes. This was in 2005 against Oklahoma, and he played in that game. Yeah. Matt Liner, Reggie Bush, that big game. You remember that whole experience? Well, sometimes I tell people I've been hitting the head so much I don't remember, but obviously with the concussions and everything like yeah, that, it's not funny. That, yeah. So, um, yeah, I do remember it was a great time. I mean, obviously going down to Miami, South Florida, winning the game, the national championship, kissing the crystal ball at the end. What was, yeah. that, what was that flight like on the way home? Uh, it was long. I think we stayed up all throughout the night, so I think most of us slept on the way home. Pete Carroll, we still talk about him all the time, of course, up in Seattle. What was he like as a coach for you? Everything you see on television. I mean, he's a competitor, highly motivated guy. He wants you to win, not only on the football field, but also in life. So uh, he's doing so, so many great things up there in Seattle, and I couldn't be happier for him. You went from SC into the pros, drafted by Jacksonville, went yep. to the Patriots. Who else were you with? Uh, I played with the Buffalo Bills and also the Carolina Panthers. So five years you were in the pros. Yes. Yeah. Good experience for you? It was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, and, and ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a professional athlete. And so having the opportunity to say that I did it and crossing off the list is something I'll always be able to do. But so. you didn't think you'd ever make it. No, not at all. I mean, yeah. I only started 10 games in four years. In the whole entire time in the NFL or in college, so getting that opportunity, 155th overall selected in the NFL draft. I mean, that's every kid's dream. But you couldn't believe it when you got the call that you were selected. Here's your card with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I love it. What was it like for you when you got the call? You couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was sitting there with my mom and, and my my uh, my grandmother and a couple of my friends. And I was just looking at the phone, and it had 904 area code. And when it had 904 area code, I knew that it wasn't somebody who I knew. And so I picked up the phone, Jack Del Rio, uh, also Shaq Harris, said, hello, welcome to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I said, great, now what's next? <laughs> so, what was it like playing for Jack Del Rio with the USC linebacker heritage that you both share? Yeah, just like you said, the, the, the tie of USC, and, and we take care of our own. So playing there with Coach Del Rio was great. He obviously understands the Southern California, USC, uh, the legacy, and uh, it was it was an awesome time. He's doing some really good things in Denver. Mm -hmm. Since you've been out of the NFL, you've written a book. Yes. You're, you're trying to help and motivate kids. What do you do after the NFL? What's your book about? Permission to Dream. So, so Permission to Dream is about uh, going from where you are to where you want to be. And so I, I, when I left the NFL, I said I want to help inspire people and motivate them to experience their dreams that they didn't even think they, can, they could uh, happen and take place. And so I wanted every single person to experience what I experienced on draft day, just like you said, if you don't even believe it. So whether you're the first I, I, time. I'm only dreaming of back muscles like that. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that, that's a great cover shot. Um, but I, I just really wanted people to understand that you really can be anything you want to be if you believe and if you're willing to work hard enough. And so that's what I believe my purpose here on this earth is, to help inspire people, to allow them to understand they really can be that. So now that you're not a player, yeah. you're writing books, being motivational. What yes. are you doing? What is next out of So the what's next? Uh, for me, I also have a transitional program that I just did at USC uh, to help with the student athletes uh, to proactively prepare them for life after uh, sports long before the transition. That's good. That's a big topic. Players yeah. don't know what to do. Yeah, because everything comes down to your identity. Who right. are you? And so when, you're, when your identity is taken away from you, you literally feel like you're dying. You know, we hear about the NFL, and it's going back 25 years. They do these rookie symposiums, and they try to help people understand what life is like in the league and then beyond, and yet uh, it's still something that needs to be hammered home to young people that are pursuing the professional athletic dream. Yeah, yeah, and, and here's the thing that I've found out is that you spend so much time trying to get to that dream that you only spend literally one day retiring. I mean, the day I retired, it was uh, a 90-foot walk 
till I hit the last, I open up the doors and I said, okay, it's over. What, what do I do now? But you spend so much time trying to get to that dream. And so what this program is designed to do is help people understand that there's so many transferable skills from being, uh, uh, whether it's a division one athlete or a professional athlete, you got the mindset, you got uh, self-motivated teamwork, exactly. leadership. I, it's so true. When we have athletes, I work with athletes, I find that they're some of the most disciplined. They work hard yeah. and they learn how to do things. All right, we are good. You saw the um, information of how to get a hold of Thomas if you want to. It's very simple. He's on social media too as well. So we put that on the screen.